Viral infection is one of the most common causes of hepatitis worldwide. Five viruses causing different forms of viral hepatitis have been identified. Out of those five, hepatitis A and E viruses cause acute hepatitis, whereas hepatitis B, C, and D viruses can cause both acute and chronic hepatitis. Hepatitis A is an RNA virus belonging to the group of picornaviruses. It replicates in the liver, is excreted in bile, and then excreted in the feces for about two weeks before the onset of clinical illness and for up to seven days after. The virus is transmitted via the phaco-oral route and ingestion of contaminated food and water. Poor personal hygiene and overcrowding are risk factors for getting the infection. Unlike many other viruses, hepatitis a virus does not have a carrier state. Children and young adults are commonly affected. The clinical presentation of hepatitis A can be divided into two stages, the anecteric stage followed by the ecteric stage. During the anecteric stage, the patients may have mild fever, nausea and vomiting, and anorexia. Many patients recover during this stage without going into the ecteric stage. During the ecteric stage, the patient develops jaundice, and as jaundice deepens, patients develop dark urine, pale stools, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, tender lymphadenopathy, and a transient rash in some. In the majority, the infection is over within three to six weeks. Extrahepatic complications of hepatitis A infection include arthritis, vasculitis, myocarditis, and acute kidney injury. Occasionally, a biphasic course occurs, where jaundice returns with a prolonged course of 7 to 20 weeks. Rarely, hepatitis A infection leads to severe hepatitis, coma, and acute liver failure. During the prodromal phase, patients will have normal serum bilirubin levels and raised liver enzyme levels. During the ecteric stage, serum bilirubin is increased, and levels reflect the severity of jaundice. The raise of AST is higher than ALT. Hematological findings include leukopenia with relative lymphocytosis, Coombs positive hemolytic anemia, and raised ESR. In severe cases, prothrombin time may be prolonged. Viral markers such as IgM antibodies to hepatitis A virus indicate acute infection. Prognosis of hepatitis A infection is excellent with most patients making a complete recovery. No specific treatment is required for hepatitis A infection. Maintaining a good hygiene, drinking safe water, and immunization in high-risk people will help prevent hepatitis A infection.